Food security is a challenge in Kenya despite agriculture being the backbone of the country's economy. Organic farming is seen as a solution to curb this threat and also advocate for healthy living. Here is more. It was song and dance as supporters of ecological farming gathered in Nairobi to attend a festival dubbed Food for Life to propagate organic foods. Today we are uh, organizing a food fair which is uh, part of a cook-off competition. We will have people selected from a, an open bidding process who will come and showcase uh, organic food uh, produce in Kenya or East Africa and people will be able to test it. We have also exhibitors who are exhibiting organic food uh, from different parts of the country. Um, but also today is a biodiversity day. Um, and therefore we think that this comes as a confluence to highlight that uh, ecological farming supports biodiversity increased biodiversity in East Africa and in Kenya in particular. In a country faced with a high population growth rate and where food security remains scarce, there is widespread use of chemical fertilizers to raise farm productivity, which according to advocates of ecological farming is a misplaced strategy. Ecological farming is sustainable, it's rooted in sustainability. So it's rooted in the environment and in ecosystems and it helps to increase the effectiveness of ecosystems for the farmer and it helps to increase the fertility of the soil. So instead of being put on top of ecosystems, it works within ecosystems and makes sure the farmers and their crops benefit from those ecosystems. Um, for instance, with um, soil fertility, organic matter going back into the soil from cover crops and things like that, as opposed to leaving the soil bare. It also means things like not using any harmful chemicals or pesticides that might make the soil less fertile. For farmers who practice this type of agriculture, the pros of buying food that is organically grown far outweigh the cons. Organic food, it has a shelf life, which, which means you can go to the market once a week and your food will not go bad. So it's uh, you, you can budget for, your, for, the, for the whole month, cutting your budget, other health benefits, that it doesn't have any toxin, especially for people who, who, who take, who use veggies like spinach and carrots and uh, cucumber for, for juices. When you go organically, it's more he healthier than the conventional. <laughs> Still, experts say that more lobbying and public awareness at all levels of society needs to be done. We need to address policy issues around sound food security at the government level. We need to address consumer consumption issues at the public and grassroots level so that people begin to question what they are actually eating. Uh, whether they are just eating food for food's sake or eating quality food that will be good for their health and does not damage their health and those of their loved ones in the medium to long term. Additionally, government support to small-scale farmers who are the bulk of Kenya's agricultural sector could perhaps be the solution to curb rising food insecurity. Throughout centuries, it has been smallholder farmers that have continued to maintain the food security of our people in this part of the world. And all we are saying is that if we give them just a little proportion of the incentives and funding that is going to chemical intensive agriculture, if we give just a small proportion of that to smallholder farmers, they could do a lot more and even give us more quality food than chemical intensive agriculture does through GMOs. And as the day wound down, Contestants showed off their culinary skills in a cook-off, highlighting the benefits of healthy living. With our generation, what people eat, we tend to age fast. We age fast, we get, we, we get some very weird diseases, you know, of which they can be avoided. But if people stick to organic foods, the, the, the number of times that you find yourself in hospital is very, very minimal. With uh, our lifestyles, uh, the modern lifestyle, we have uh, uh, modern day diseases, cancers and stuff. 
So uh, eating non-organic foods would tend to accelerate that. But organic foods would, would kind of slow down that and uh, they're good for our health as, as she mentioned.